Welcome to Monarch Butterflies. We have some time-lapse pictures and videos for you today. Uh, taking it from the egg to the chrysalis. So you know, I think you kind of like it. Um, Monarch Butterfly is very popular. It's all over the place. We have uh, a little Monarch Butterfly right here out in our yard this morning on a milkweed. The key is to have milkweed plants. If you have milkweed plants, you're going to be very successful with monarch butterflies. And what they do is the monarch butterflies come along and they lay eggs on the back of the leaves. And then the eggs turn into caterpillars. Oh, here we go. Here's, here's a picture of some eggs. You can see the eggs on the back of the leaves. Those little eggs will hatch out and turn into little small caterpillars. And then the caterpillars will eat the milkweed plant, which is what you're seeing here. There's a little baby one right there. And this little critter is uh, having a ball, uh, eating everything to get his hands on. We actually went out and bought some extra milkweed plants because uh, we have so many caterpillars. But don't kill these babies. They're good. If you see these caterpillars, you'll see some big ones in a minute. If you see these caterpillars, don't kill them. Uh, but yes, they will eat a lot of the leaves on the milkweed plant, but the milkweed plant will come back. So their whole idea is to get fattened up so they can uh, eventually turn into a beautiful caterpillar. Now here's a full-grown one right here, and this was this morning also. He's climbing on one of our milkweed plants that we have inside our lanai to keep it protected from natural predators that want to eat him. But if you see one like this in your yard, uh, don't think he's a bad guy. He's a good guy, and uh, he'll turn into a beautiful monarch butterfly given a chance. Now, he's in the what we call the second stage. Uh, first stage is like egg and larvae. Then it goes to caterpillar, and then it will go to the pupa stage, a chrysalis, which we'll see in a minute. Um, he's fattening up on these leaves. He's an eating and pooping machine. All he does is eat and poop for about a week. Once he gets chubby enough, which he is just about as chubby as he needs to get right now, I'm putting my hand in there so you can get an idea of the size relationship of the plant. We bought some of these down at Home Depot. They're relatively inexpensive and uh, the caterpillars love them. So he's in our, look at how fat he is. I mean, he's a real, he's a chunker. He's got a little thing on his back. For a second there, I thought it might have been a tick or something, but it isn't. I think it's just a little birthmark he has in the back of his... Uh, we'll see when the butterfly comes out, what uh, the butterfly looks like, and see if it has the same mark. But look at how he is so nimble and can crawl around the back. And uh, if you look back on the left side of the photograph, you can see the little uh, presence he's left along the way as he eats his way uh, through life and becoming a beautiful butterfly uh, in a, just a couple of short weeks after they go into the chrysalis stage. So anyway, here he is crawling around his leaf. He's having a great time. He's eating his way uh, as well as he, uh, as much as he wants. He's very delighted to be in here and be protected. And uh, he's kind of funny when you go up there, or she, when you go up there um, close to the caterpillar, if you start speaking or making noises, he automatically becomes very still and won't move around. Once I st stood around and didn't make any noises or anything, he went back into his natural um, ways and just you get crawling around all over the place. And he's pretty, pretty interesting how uh, he can do that. In fact, he, he crawled away from this plant just after I shot this video, and he's way over on the other side of the lanai. Uh, getting ready to go into the chrysalis stage, and he might have, he must have traveled, I would say, 20, 25 feet um, in 90 degree weather. Not too bad. He's, he's he's a tough little cook. He's a lot tougher than you think they are. He's very interesting too. When we get up to the point, uh, well, we'll get to that in a minute. But but uh, watch how this guy, how how uh, nimble he really is. He can move himself. He can hold himself by his butt and swing himself out and move all around. Um, He's very, uh, he's very capable. Now, this, he's, since I shot this this afternoon, uh, about two hours ago, he's already up in a part of the lanai where he's lying there and he's getting ready to hang himself down by his butt and turn into a, uh, a butterfly. Here's a couple of monarch butterflies outside the uh, screen. 
they know that there are milkweed plants inside the house, including outside, but inside the house too, and they're very interested. They'd love to come in, lay some eggs on the, uh, what they'll do is they lay eggs on the, on the uh, milkweed plant, and then they hatch out, and then they become eventually big chubby guys like that, uh, or chubby gals, and uh, then they turn into uh, beautiful butterflies. So here's the early plants I had, and they're pretty well eaten, as you can see. Here's our final guy. I've got, we've got about four of them that are already in the chrysalis stage. In fact, one I filmed yesterday, and I'm going to show you that in uh, just about 30 seconds or a minute. We'll, we'll get up to that part of the video. But here's, here's this guy having a few last final snacks in the very top of the milkweed plant. He's chunking away and having a ball. Four stages of the... Uh, Monarch butterfly is the egg larvae stage, the caterpillar stage, the pupa stage, and of course the adult when they turn into a, a monarch butterfly. And they only live for a few weeks. I didn't know that. They only live for a few weeks and the whole cycle keeps going and going and going. And basically what you do is when you turn into a butterfly, then you run around and lay all the eggs you can uh, till you you expire and then hopefully the next generation will carry on. There's lots of information about monarch butterflies if you do a simple search on uh, on um, the internet. So here's one of our caterpillars yesterday. He's attached himself to the underside of one of our glass tables out on the lanai and here he is going into the chrysalis stage. You can see in this time-lapse photography I took uh, this morning he's changing over it looks like he secretes something out of his body and he pushes a lot of stuff and some of his legs and everything up to the very very top see that little bunch of stuff and he just tosses it on the ground it just flips off the top and he has this little string that looks very very um fragile and it looks like it could fall uh, right off uh, and the whole thing could drop down on the ground, but it's very strong. It stays there. Now it's turning green, get that nice, beautiful green orb, and there he is in the final stage, and he is waiting to become a butterfly in a couple of weeks. So anyway, thank you for uh, watching the video. It's, I hope you enjoyed the time-lapse photography. Uh, it was, I had a lot of fun doing it. And uh, we need subscribers, so if you hit the subscribe button, that would help us a lot. And if you want to hit the bell, and you actually get notified if we have another new video. And we're going to put another one out uh, showing the butterfly, I mean the uh, chrysalis stage, where the butterfly comes up, comes out of the pupa stage and actually flies. And we'll show you that one I showed you that just went through those two stages. So stay tuned, and thanks again for watching the video.